Hello again viewers from beautiful Lanzarote, Porto del Carmen Promenade. It's going to be a wee quick video. I'm going to show you somewhere. You need to be a wee bit careful. There's some good and some bad news. How nice is it out there, eh? Lovely. The bars are really busy here this afternoon. A few people have been asking me how busy it is and I've noticed a big difference today. I've been in quite a few different places and the bad news is, I could not find the Simon Air game. No bars, had Air TV, I went into the Bluebells and I went into O'Reilly's across here. I'll show you some of the bars and I'm going to show you a place where you can actually, potentially, sort of, stay out beyond 1am. The bars here shut at 1am, but you need to be careful. I'll tell you about it in a wee minute. Let's walk over, I'll show you some of the bars here and we'll go around the corner. It was 27 degrees earlier today. I think I burnt myself a wee bit. So, it was a wee bit of a shock. The sun came out. It's not been out the last two days. But it is really nice. Obviously, it is still a wee bit windy. So, these bars here, there's a big Apple Disco. These bars here are pretty busy. O'Reilly's is really busy inside. They've got numerous TVs in here. It's a really good sports bar. So if you're looking for somewhere to watch the football, especially the Premiership games, then they've got TVs all over the place in here, and it's really, really busy inside. At one point, I couldn't even get a seat. We've got an upstairs bit, that's not open just now, that's probably why it's so busy downstairs. So it's really, really busy. Uh, a good bar for watching the football. You would be as well getting a pint, because a Coke's €3.50, mind you. <laughs> a lot of places you go in and you ask for a Coke, they give you a big, massive bottle which is not really great for the calories this is where I'm walking take some of it off hopefully so if you're just looking for a small drink ask for a small coke because quite often if you ask for a coke you get a big massive 500ml bottle so let's go around the corner so if you watched the video earlier on I mentioned I met a couple of guys from Galway pleasure meeting you guys and I met them in the late night bar around here so I was walking by here uh, last night and I noticed a lot of people were still were still in the bars here after one o'clock. So there's a wee bit of a loophole here and there's some good and there's some bad news. So we've got the Hippodrome and a few other bars up here. I'll walk up and show you. There's nothing really open just now. These are all late night places. And I was speaking to Daryl, who's a viewer, and he actually lives in Lanzarote and he sent me a wee message recommending some places and he told me to avoid in here for numerous reasons, there's all sorts of things going on sometimes so you need to be careful, so if you're a young, young person be careful if you're coming in here so I'll show you some of the bars remember keep this a secret as well I don't want any of the bars to get into trouble here So, these bars will be open later on and there was quite a good crowd in here. It wasn't just young people, it was a mix, but predominantly this is for younger people. And they've got a wee downstairs bit as well. So, we head down here actually. Right. So we're just above O'Reilly's. Oh, there's a beer garden. So that's open. That's okay. The guy was asking me if I wanted to go down. So, we've got, we've got the beer garden over here. That takes you back out to the promenade. So basically, what's happening here, viewers, remember, keep this a secret. It's basically these bars, they do shut technically at one o'clock. What, what a lot of people are doing basically is just ordering loads of drinks before one o'clock and sitting out here and also downstairs. So effectively the bars technically weren't open but you could go in and obviously have a drink till later on at night. So you can see they've got some discos over here as well. So Dara was telling me who lives in Lanzarote, be very careful if you come here late at night. Now 
I didn't realise that last night. I just came in and ordered a drink. And then, as I said, I got chatting to the two guys from Galway. Great guys. Um, and there was a lot of people. There was quite a lot of people in here. Especially down the stairs. So, this is really for the younger viewers. I know we don't have many younger viewers on the channel. But I know we've still got a good percentage. So, if you're coming to Lanzarote, Porto do Carmen, you're looking for nightlife. These are the late night bars. But, as Daryl says, be very, very careful. As in like most places, like Veronica's in Tenerife, etc. There is always things to look out for. That's all I'm really saying. All the bars when I was in here last night, they were all friendly, the guys. As I said, there was quite a lot of people in here. It's not for everyone, but I don't think the majority of viewers will probably come in here. Let's head down this way. But you've got to remember as well, late at night when all these bars shut, this downstairs bit, it's quite dark. The VIP disco pub as well. Okay. What do you say here? Spiddling. Couple of guys shouting at me there. So I told you, be careful. <laughs> and this brings us out to the promenade. Back to where we started, viewers. So, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Something a bit different. If you're coming here tonight, as I said, be careful. If you're looking for a drink after one o'clock, there's a wee loophole there. I've not found any other bars in Porto del Carmen. Past one o'clock. Nobody's asked for vaccination certificates apart from today. The only place that's asked me, and I was quite surprised when I went in to try and get the football, was the Bluebell Spa. They asked for proof of vaccination. So everywhere else that went in, no, nobody's asking. But depending on what bar you go in, you might get asked. So just make sure you've got the app on your phone. If you're in Scotland, maybe you've got the printed letter, either way. So, what do you think, viewers? Is that the kind of place you're going for a drink at one o'clock in the morning? I bet it's not. <laughs> Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. So, thanks, Daryl, for all your tips. It was a wee bit late that one, I'm afraid, because I was already in there last night. It's quite funny when he sent me the message saying avoid there. <laughs> I don't think I'll win again. So, tomorrow, Player Blanca. I know we've got a lot of viewers who like Player Blanca and go there quite often, so I'm looking forward to seeing somewhere different. I've really liked Porto del Carmen, really liked it. Um, I would come back here definitely. It's got a lot of bars with entertainment and live music, it's got a lot of good sports bars. So, definitely my kind of place. Mulligan's over there, you go downstairs to that one. I'm just going to have a wee walk along and try and find this tiny bar. Quite a few viewers have recommended it. Have a wee walk along, see if we can find it. Yep, Mulligan's there. Thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Give it a wee thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Hit the wee red button that says subscribe. It's absolutely free. And remember, if you go to that late night bar, just be careful. Let me know. Is the MDB in those bars? <laughs> Would you recommend it? Thanks for watching. Take care.